Football is a sports experience that most people wouldn't really understand. Football is an outlet for me to show my school, school spirit and cheer on my classmates. Football is a major asset to our school, whether it be you know bringing money in or just people coming out to watch our people play. Football is here at Holly Springs. What we are is win the day. That means that we respect respect the uh, process of winning, and we try to get better every day. Football is freedom. Football season is the one time where administration doesn't have control. It's us. It's my job. It's the student's job. It reflects on us how we decide what kind of fans we're going to be. Football season is the opportunity to let loose, to forget about all the drudgery that goes on in school and just enjoy an hour and a half of man hitting man, screaming, food, and just have fun. Football is an often brutal, yet beautiful sport. Here at Holly Springs, we celebrate our team wholeheartedly, with Hawks football residing at the heart of the school's athletic department and the student school spirit. From the bleachers to the locker room, there's a lot that goes into the football season at HSHS. Between the rousing music, passionate coaches, and the exuberant student section, the football experience at HSHS is phenomenal. Playing quarterback is, there's a lot involved. It's not just playing your position, but you have to know your position as well as every other position on the field. You're kind of the commander, the leader out there of the offense. If everything starts with you, you know, make sure everybody on the team gets the call, knows what we're doing, and everything goes through me. So it's my responsibility to make sure that everybody knows what we're doing and get the team going, not just on the field, but you know, on the sidelines, even everybody in the game to be motivated and being a leader and uh, showing everybody the right way to do things. The student section is like the the hype of the football game and this year we got more involved with them like the stuff that we played was more now as opposed to last year where the band only played like songs from like the 90s and 80s. Well this year we got more stuff we talked to our band director about getting new stuff you know more more stuff that would appeal to the audience and you know, getting the audience into it is the real thing. Because if you're if you're at home and you get the audience involved, then you know the the possibilities are endless. The best thing about football is that when the team wins, or you know, you score a touchdown or make a great play, it's you look up and you see all the fans and everybody at the whole school is just going absolutely nuts. Everybody's there to support you, and you know that everyone in the school and everyone in the town really cares about the football team and it brings so much excitement to the school that you know it makes you feel like you're a big reason a big part of what brings school spirit and it's uh... the feeling is pretty sweet i think cheerleading helps to um, bring the crowd together and have us all cheering for our teammates and our schoolmates that we see in class um, it's a way for us to get together outside of school and bond with each other so what i do as the president at football games is I organize the crowd, I do crowd control basically. So I make chants, I tell them the cues for when to move, when to do certain things. I organize who goes into what part of the stadium and we scream a lot. So my job is to run the purple craze and all of its constituents from the parents, the workers, even the teachers, but mostly the student body. My favorite chant by far has to be the roller coaster. We all, I get on somebody's shoulders and everybody sits down and I start screaming, I raise my hands and then everybody follows my body moving side to side and going crazy and it's always a great time. Definitely this year beating Fuquay was, uh, was awesome. That was probably the best game for us as a team that I've played in since I've been on the varsity. And uh, when you're out there and winning games, is, there's nothing like it. There's nothing else like playing on Friday nights. It's, it's an experience that uh, is one of a kind, and uh, I only wish that I could keep playing after high school. Here at Holly Springs High, we take great pride in our amazing football program, and we celebrate the victories and the extreme effort put forth by the team. Now we congratulate the seniors leaving in June and welcome the upcoming varsity players for the next season always looking to improve upon the last graduating class's athletic achievements.
trying to select a musical, you're looking at who the kids are you think might be interested in auditioning um, and making sure that you've got enough kids to cast it um, and the right kinds of voices to sing it and the right kind of actors to do it and dancers to dance it and band to play it, lots of different things to look at. How much work and time did we dedicate for this musical? We sold our souls <laughs> to this musical. <laughs> Had no life. <laughs> there is no life besides musical. <laughs> but on the bright side, it was like one of the best experiences Oh my gosh, ever. I would trade and it for anything. Yeah, and you get to spend it with the greatest people in school. I mean, seriously, mm -hmm. it's, it's not, you're not sacrificing anything. So all, all the time at school, all the rehearsal time, and then it leaked into theater class, mm -hmm. and all the tons of character work at home. Oh, <laughs> at home, and lack of sleep, and, and practicing music. Uh -huh. But it's so fun, and it's so, so worth, worth it. it. So worth it. We have been rehearsing since September. That's when we first got our roles. We've been practicing the blocking, the lines, acting mainly in the beginning of it. And then halfway through the semester, like mm, December or January, that's when the singing came came around and the whole cast came together. And we've been working on it for about like eight, eight nine months. So the most difficult task in Guys and Dolls the, um, is probably managing 105 different students. So we have technical theater students, we have the band students who are part of the orchestra pit, we have the, uh, of course, the actors, and we also have the dancers. And so coming together, we have 105 students. And so managing all these students from different programs coming together for the first time is, is a challenge. Going into it from a starting standpoint, the first few rehearsals, uh, I discovered very quickly that this was going to be something that they were going to have to learn. It was going to be a teaching moment for them. Uh, a lot of them did not have that experience of the different styles. Uh, the show was written in the 1950s, so you know here we are in 2013. We're talking about you know 60 plus years, and uh, a lot of the students were not very familiar with any of the tunes. Um, so. Uh, I think the overall challenge was getting them to kind of buy in and learn some different styles. Uh, as I pointed out, even in the area of jazz that this show required, there were probably at least five or six different styles of jazz being played throughout the show. Uh, so that was a challenge. Uh, I always am optimistic that we're going to meet the challenge, and once again, the students came through. Well, I know that um, with each musical these past couple of years, we've been having a larger role in bringing the dancers on stage. When we first started here at Holly Springs High School opening the school, um, it, we really didn't use the dance students in the musical. We set the dance numbers on most of the actors. And so when we discuss which musicals we're going to do, we really do try to find shows that not only will showcase the talent of our singers and our actors, but which musicals would allow me to bring in some of my best talent um, to then get them involved as well. Something that was really vital that we took from this word, the relationships we made mm -hmm. in the show, like mm -hmm. everyone was so nice and you would walk backstage or walk around in the theater during rehearsals and everyone's smiling and everyone's just really happy to be there and that carries on after the show. These exactly. Even today we saw somebody in the hallway and it was like a, yeah. a little miniature reunion. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it's like you become closer with friends you've been friends with for a while and like like the relationships you make in the musical and the friendships you make there are very long lasting. And when you go through something as fun as that and such a great experience you really make great bonds. I think it's the most rewarding because I actually have a song. I've never had one before, so it's really nice to have that. It's really rewarding because I have a whole new character I've never played before, so it's really interesting to come up with um, background for that character, coming up with a own posture, all these things that really reward me as an actor. 
and singer. Yeah, I definitely think it was a success. Uh, one, one thing that I thought was really, really cool about this year's group, overall, all the parties involved, was that every night it seemed to get better. A uh, real professional cast. Um, I, I thought, my humble opinion, that Saturday night by far was our best show, which is what you always want, your last show to be your best. And uh, it was another success for Holly Springs. It's actually quite wonderful working with the choreographer who is Miss Darman, Mr. Biasi, who's the conductor, and Jenny Patchett, who is the, the musical director. We get along, which is always a good start, and um, the collaboration starts the summer before the school year. So um, in that time, we work together, and it's, it's been friendly. <laughs> Sometimes in previous productions, there are some heated moments, but overall, it's been quite wonderful. Uh, working with four directors, it wasn't too big of an issue. We, the band, mostly dealt with Mr. Biazzi, so it wasn't a huge deal. But it was, it was alright. I like, I like to work with the different directors. I like to get different, different input. I highly encourage you to get involved in the musical next year. Mm -hmm. Phenomenal people, phenomenal experience, mm -hmm. phenomenal friends. <laughs> you will not regret it. Mm -mm. It's all totally worth it. Oh yeah. Hello, my name is Tyrese Lines and I am attending East Carolina University to major in biology. Go Pirates! I'm Lucy Stefik and I am majoring in biology. I'm Michael Johnson and I'm majoring in business. I'm Victoria Kroll and I'm majoring in biology. I'm Francesca Masselli and I'm majoring in nursing. Hi, I'm Megan Cho and I can do a cartwheel. My name is Brooke Sedano and I'm going to NC State for biomedical engineering next year. Hi, I'm Nicole Church and I will be attending Regis College in Massachusetts next August. I'm very excited because I'm enrolled in such a fantastic nursing program. I get to intern at Mass General, you know. My name is Trayvon Winston and I'll be attending Wake Tech this fall to get my associates in electrical engineering. Hi, I'm Tramone Avery and I'll be singing Grateful. I am grateful for the things that you have done. Yeah. I'm grateful for the victories we've won. I could go on and on and on about your works, but because I'm grateful, grateful, so grateful just to praise you, Lord. Hi, my name is Brian Kesselring. I received the SECU scholarship because I volunteer in a first grade classroom and I volunteer with the St. Baldrick's Foundation to raise money for childhood cancer. Hi, I'm Megan Poole and I want to go into fashion merchandising and these are just a few of the outfits that I've made. Um, for example, I made these shorts out of um, an old pair of curtains and this blazer from um, an old pantsuit. Hi, I'm Emily Briggs and I'm majoring in biology at UNC Chapel Hill. My name is RJ Harper, and I'm going to play something for you guys. I'm Casey DeYoung. I'm going to NC State to be an English major for secondary education and I'm really excited to be a teacher.
Hi, my name is Joshua Williams, and I'm going to High Point University, where I will study biology and English. Hey, my name is Jordan Lee. Next year, I'm going to UNC Chapel Hill. I hope to study Spanish abroad in Spain, and uh, I can't wait to be a Tar Heel. My name is James Sackett, and I'm going to South Carolina School of Leadership. You know, I stayed up all night wondering where the sun had gone, and then finally, it dawned on me. Hi, I'm Allison Lyles. I'm going to UNC Chapel Hill this fall, and I will be studying journalism.